Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a journal entry to your QuickBooks. There's going to be a lot of times that you don't need to do this, but in case you do need to, I want you to know where to go. When you're looking at your QuickBooks Online account, it doesn't matter what you're looking at, you're going to select Plus New in the upper left-hand corner. On the right-hand side, under the header of Other, you're going to go down and select Journal Entry. Here you have the ability to update the date of your journal entry. So for my make-believe example, I'm just going to say 1123. Often when I'm doing this, I'm demoing payroll. So my journal number will be PPE for pay period ending. And then it'll have the ending date. So 1225, and it would have been 23, except for every time you save a journal entry and make a new one, the software will increment one on the end. You have the ability to add your debits and credits in as many accounts as you need. Your journal entry must balance, so your debits must equal your credits. Let's make a really simple journal entry. We're going to say employee wages, $500. And then from the employee wages, we withhold some money for taxes. So we say payroll liabilities, and we'll make that $100. And then the rest of it just comes out of the checking account and goes over to the employee for direct deposit. It doesn't matter how many lines you have, you have however many you need to do the thing you want to do. You can add a description to each of the lines over here. You can add a name to the right. In the lower left-hand corner, you can add a memo. You can scroll down and add an attachment. When you're satisfied, you can click Save, Save and New, or Save and Close. I'm going to click Save and New. I want you to watch the journal entry number, how it ends in 23. The next journal entry ends in 24. So kind of a fun trick. If you're doing this, just remember to override your numbers to be whatever you want them to be. If you're looking for a journal entry you've previously created, you can always come to the clock in the upper left hand corner, click on the little rewind, and it'll show you the journal entries you've previously created. If you want to view one, you simply need to click on that line. And here's my example journal entry. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can do anything for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as self-study courses. My team and I offer outsourced bookkeeping, so some catch-up, some clean-up, or some help you maintain it going forward. You can find us at gentlefrog.com, and if there's any topics you'd like to see me cover, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much.